This is the S248 Sport Pursuit coming in at $204,000, boat show price of $182,000. Beautiful Pursuit dash, I mean, as normal what you'd expect out of a Pursuit. You got flush mount GPS's, rocker switches looking clean all the way across there. Yamaha gauge in the middle, JL Audio stereo system, VHF over to the side. I like this little catch-all that you got right here. Just throw your phone and stuff up there in the windshield protected. Leaning posts, we got bolster seats to kind of flip up and down, turn it into a leaning post. Plenty of room in the back back here. Looks like we got a single Yamaha F300, 4.2 liter. Plenty of room to walk around the engine all the way around the back. I like how everybody is now doing this, where you have all this room to like walk all the way around the engine and like not have a spot where you can kind of like fall in. So that way when you're fishing and stuff, you get back here, you get around the engine and you can kind of fish around it, which makes it really nice. We got a live well over here in the corner and then we've got a seat right here, bench seat. Got a cooler that slides out right there. It looks like a tackle storage center underneath there. Coming up here to the front, we've got these backrests that flip out. All this room up here in the bow, that'll probably pop out. So you got plenty of space there for seating. We got power up here so you can charge your phone. And then also, looks like that is it. We got more seating up here in front of the console armrest. Looks really good. The Pursuit 246 dual console coming in at $229,000 MSRP. And looks like you can get it for $204,000 here at the Miami Eva Boat Show. Looking at the back, we've got a single Yamaha F300 4.2 liter. Again, I like how everything is enclosed around the back so you can walk around the engine. We've also got a tow bar here so you can tow a tuber, skier, whatever you want, kind of like dual purpose. You got a seat right here. It looks like another seat that pops out there, plus your live wall. So plenty of seating for entertaining in the back back here. Got a nice seat there. And then plenty of room to the side back here in the cockpit. So there's a lot of room to run around. Cup holders right there. Bucket seat for the captain. We got a flush mounted um, gauge for Yamaha and for the stereo GPS to the side over there. Rocker switches for the center or the control of the boat. Yamaha Hellmaster EX control box. Got a cup holder over there for the captain. Some charge ports, charge your phone. Got another seat right here for the passenger. And then if we look over here, flip this up, take a look inside here. We're gonna have a head with a sink. Really, really nice. Got the bow up in here. Lots of cushions everywhere, storage to the sides, cup holders in the back, arm chairs or arm rests that'll fold down all the way around to the other side. Plenty of room for entertaining and comfort. This is the DC-306 dual console from Pursuit, $477,000 starting. Boat show price of $425,000. Looks like we've got twin Yamaha F300s on the backpack here. I love how Pursuit has done this. This is all non-skidded all the way around, so you can walk around here, even this right here, so it is not slick. You can get traction there, which I really like that feature. Twin 300s, got a live well over in the side right there. Got a door going to the side of the boat. Got a seat right here in the back, and then looks like another seat that'll pop out right there. Got a back-facing seat here. Captain's chair up here, two cup holders, Helm Master EX control system. Looks like we got joysticks, so it's got full maneuverability from Yamaha. Rocker switches all the way across the dash. Rocker switches here built into the acrylic paneling, so I like that. It looks really clean. Flush mounted GPSs. I like the wood grain accent across the top. That is really nice. Oh, and then this is sweet, so if you clip this and get that open, there's another one over there. You can lean this whole console forward so you can get to the back of everything for troubleshooting and taking care of stuff and maintaining. That is a big plus. We've got a seat over here to the side. In here, I'm guessing it's gonna be the head. Nope. Just a, probably, probably turns into a bed sleeping area down in there. And then on this one will probably be the head then. Yep, so here is your head down there. Got your sink right there, and then this sweet door. So as you open it, that opens and closes. So it pulls the top so you do not hit your head going in there. Really nice feature. Coming to the front of the bow, we've got a lot of room up here. Seat right there with an armrest. We've got 
power up there for charging your phone, all that kind of stuff. Cup holders in the side and then more cushions over here to the other side of the bow. You can fit three or four people up here really comfortably. Really, really nice layout of the boat. Pursuit S288 Sport, looking like just at $400,000, $356 here at the show. Got a side door going out the side there. This has got a really nice wood accent all the way around the boat. Cup holders down there. Got like a catch-all situation there to put stuff. I like that. Nice bench seat here on behind the leaning post. And then we've got another bench seat right there so you can sit face to face. Pretty nice. I'm not sure if this here opens up. I'm sure it does. I just don't know where the handle is. And then in here, you've got your live well coming out there. We've got shade all over the back of the boat. So from back here, you got all kinds of shade. We got twin Yamaha F300 V6 4.2 liter engines. Lots of space on the sides of the engines, which makes it really nice when you're fishing to get around there. The console looks like we got joysticks, so you got full maneuverability or level four from Yamaha. It's controlled digital electronic systems. Rocker switches built into the acrylic paneling, all labeled looking really good. Flush mounted GPSs. I like the way that looks. Oh, I like this. Now that is indented and it's like really nice, um, you know, like fabric almost right above the stereo, little spot right here, charge ports. You can charge your phone in there. The We've got a sunroof up here in the top and then two seats that'll bolster down, turn it into a leaning post or a seat. Coming up here to the front of the boat, bow cushions all the way around, backrest so you can put two people on each side comfortably. We got cup holders on both sides of the boat and you've got two seats right here with armrests Let's look inside the console. Nice, spacious head. I like this. This is really nice. Look at it. You got a compartment right there. Um, there's the table for the back or in the front bow. I'm not sure where. You've even got the head right there with a sink. That is really spacious. So I'm surprised about that. I think that looks really good. Now this is the Pursuit S358 Sport. Coming in at 775690 at the show. Looks like we're powered with twin Yamaha V8, probably 450 XTOs. Tons of room on the sides of the engines, just like I like from Pursuit. We got a box in here for fish. Big, huge live well right here. I don't know, no viewing on the side of it, but we've got a side door right here going out to the side of the gunnel. Bin seat going across the back, and then another seat right here. This thing like pulls out. I'm not sure what, oh, this comes out as a seat. So look at that. That's really, really nice. Kind of like collapses together and like has a top to it. So it's like, looks like a trash can almost. That's pretty sweet. You've got a grill right here. You've got another well right there. Probably use that as a cooler. Probably a sink down in there. Big, huge walkway to get back to the transom, back of the boat. If we look around here, tons of space in between the gunnels and the console. Looking at the dash here, we've got three huge captain seats. Big area to get up to the top right up there. I don't know if this one has. You got a lot of shade right here on the back. Um, just the sunroof does not have a second station up there. But back to the console, we've got all of our rocker switches all the way across the dash right here. All labeled, looking really fresh. It's like this dark mahogany wood grain. Looks really clean. GPS's are flush mounted into this acrylic panel with this nice like fabric type like I don't know what you'd call this thing up in the top. This here, nice little compartment, you got power in there, charge your phone. Also looks like we've got some kind of latches there. So this thing probably folds forward to get access to the back, which is really, really nice when it comes to you having to work on this thing. And as it gets older to help it hold its value, we've got Joystick piloting, so that means you've got full maneuverability from Yamaha, Hellmaster EX, air conditioning coming out here, down in the cabin. We've got plenty of space, got a TV down here, got bedding, seats, not really a lot of seats, but mainly bedding. In the head, we've got the head and a sink. Pretty tight in here, not a whole lot of room, but it's a pretty big cabin for a 30s range boat. Then we move over to 
the bow of the boat where we've got a table, pneumatic, it will go up, it'll go down. This is a lot of seating. Backrests that flip out. You've got controls for the radio speakers up here. You've got charge ports, seating all the way around the bow. You can probably put eight, 10 people up here. Got a lot of seating right here in the front of the console as well, all around a table. So that makes it definitely good for socializing and hanging out on the boat. Got the S268 Sport from Pursuit. Here it's coming in at 260,000, 231 for the boat show. The bow, really nice seats on both sides, backrest, storage below them. You've got the center console, has a nice seat on it. And it looks like this opens up, I guess. Oh yeah, so that is sweet. So that opens up to the head. Um, I like that, that's really nice. Got a little sink in there. We close this. And then go around here to the back. Looks like we got twin Yamaha F200s for the for the power of the boat. Lots of room on both sides of the engines. You can kind of walk around. Got a live well back in the corner. We've got a seat right here. So you can sit down in the back. And then we've got our tackle station right there. Prep station. Nice little piece of starboard. You can put hooks, tools, pliers, all that stuff right there. That makes it really nice. I like the dash being flush mounted GPS's and then also all the rockers for controlling everything on the boat up here on the console. Got two bolsters that flip up and down, leaning post seats in the helm. This is Pursuit's DC-266 dual console. Looks like a $266,000 boat show price of $237,000. So quite a bit of a discount. Looks like we got twin F200 Yamahas on the back. Tons of space on both sides of the engine. Live well back corner, a seat that flips out right there. I wish I could open this up. Looks like this is kind of fish box well area. Another seat on the side of the console or the side of the cockpit area right there. Got a seat looking to the back right here and got a whole station over here. I'm not sure. Looks like we've got, probably could get a cooktop there. Got a sink right there. Really nice um, console. Lots of space, lots of space for the captain. I like the captain's seat with all the uh, armrests and everything. Flush mount GPS. I still on pursuit this year. They've got this nice like fabric. Like this looks really clean. I like the way that looks. We've got Hillmaster EX controls, rocker switches for everything on the boat. And looks like over here, probably got the head in here, I guess. So, yep, we got our head, got a sink in there. Got a large seat right here. So you could probably fit two people, one person there and then one person facing this way, which is really spacious. Two cup holders up here on the top. Walking through to the bow, we've got lots of cushions, armrests, plenty of space, charging station down there so you can charge your phone. Catch all, all the way around the bow. And then lots of seating right here on the side. Table, so you can pop a table up here in the middle and hang out on the beach, sandbar, whatever you want. Really, really sweet.